What is speed but an equation between adventure, danger, fear, and staying alive? Bert Munro was a remarkable man. From Invercargill in New Zealand, he was a man of very limited means, and he had very limited education, but he became a brilliant engineer. He managed to take a very basic Indian Scout engine, which was barely capable of 100 kilometers an hour when it was first made and turn it into a world fastest record breaker. It became the world's fastest Indian for its time. Bert Munro would come from Invercargill in New Zealand every year to the Bonneville Salt Flats. And the way he did it was he had two machines. He had a chassis in Invercargill, which is still there in the Hayes family collection. And he had a chassis in the United States, which he brought to Bonneville. And what he would do is he would bring the engine every year back and forward on the plane. And he would take it apart obsessively, lightening every single piece inside that engine until he got the maximum performance from it. It was so delicate, it was like a Swiss watch, and it had to be completely stripped down after every two or three runs. That's how delicate it was. And that was the genius of Bert Munro. He became the world's fastest Indian. He kept going and kept going until he was well into his 60s. Eventually, they persuaded him he shouldn't do this anymore and he stopped but nevertheless his legacy is secure made famous in that film of course the world's fastest Indian but he's one of New Zealand's very greatest engineers designers and sportsmen and he is the world's fastest Indian <laughs>